it's no secret that the market for commercial corn and soybeans is not what farmers would like it to be or what it was a few years ago. While prices are down though, there are things that farmers can do to, to weather this storm and emerge from the other side to create a, a stronger production system as we go forward. Hi, my name is Chad Hart. I'm an economist with Iowa State University Extension and Outreach. And over the next couple of minutes, I'd like to share with you a few tips to talk about how to build that strong financial business. The American farmers producing crops at a record pace right now. We're looking at a country that's about to produce a 15 billion bushel corn crop and over 4 billion bushel soybean crop. Both of these are record levels and that's after several years worth of records upon that. And so unfortunately we this record production has left us with more product than the system can really handle and lower prices than we've seen in quite some time. While these low prices will remain for at least another couple of years, there are things farmers can do to protect themselves and their finances as they look for the markets to rebound. My colleagues with ISU Extension and Outreach have come up with four important suggestions that can help you make your operation profitable. The most important thing a farmer can do right now is protect their capital. Right now cash is king. Now's the time to look at assets that we've purchased over time and determine if we really need them or not. It's also the time to diversify our farm income. We need to look at how we you know, accumulate these assets and what sort of income can these assets produce for us right now. We also have to redo our family living expenses. Um, you know, over the past few years, we've gotten used to living high on the hog where we've been able to take that family vacation to a tropical location or maybe renovate the farmhouse. But now now we need to avoid those cash shortages and be very careful with any new capital expenditures. Part of protecting your capital is managing your risk and so now's the perfect time to review our production costs especially as we prepare for next year's crop and to look at making small changes in the case of looking at our fertilizer decisions, what sort of seed variety we're looking to plant next year and also the type of crop insurance we're looking to buy. Anything that will help control costs and improve that bottom line. How do you manage your margins if you don't know what a good price looks like? So understanding your cost will help you make better informed decisions as you market your crop over the course of the year. Now is also a great time to think about negotiating or renegotiating loans that we may have. One of the easiest ways to free up a little cash right now is to take a short term operating note and extend it out a little bit, make it a little more longer term, cuts down our payments right now, and it keeps more cash in hand at a time that we really need to preserve our cash reserves. And depending upon the individual situation on the farm, now is also a good time to review that growth plan. Is it time to maybe slow down? Down that growth or even maybe downsize the operation a little bit here given the tighter finances we're seeing right now. Now is not the time to bite off more than we can chew. We want to be very careful about the plans that we put in place, that the cash that we have on hand to manage our farm operation as we move forward. And maybe most importantly as we go forward here, now's the time to talk with the specialists that help us run our farm business. Now here with Iowa State University Extension and Outreach, we have many different people and programs ready to assist you as you look at determining your best course of action that your business is going to take. For example, Ag Decision Maker provides many tools and resources for the farm that you can pull up on your computer. We have farm financial associates throughout the state that are available for individual consultations as you review your farm financial and make plans for the future. The current market situations will improve. We talk about ag cycles all the time and we see the ups and downs of the agricultural markets. We're in a downturn right now, but in another year or two, it will pop back up. Hopefully the information we've shared with you today will help you think about ways to better inform your farm business and make those plans to make sure that you have a strong, viable farm in the future.